Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Switching things up a little bit for this last one in the series. Today we're gonna talk about what you just saw in the intro there, and that is a really cool animated mask sequence. You're taking something um, in one frame and using it to obscure your entire frame, and then we're gonna use that to create a mask and then reveal the next clip underneath. Here's how it's done. In this clip, I am shooting a just sweeping shot of this tree. As you can see, the tree covers the frame from the top to the bottom. And this is gonna work well for doorways. Anything, any object that you can use to cover the frame completely will help you make a shot just like this. We're gonna take from here to there. Drop that in the timeline. I know this makes zero sense. These two clips probably have no purpose going together, but this is just what I wanted to use for the sake of demonstration. And we'll go to the Gilly Gill logo. Shirt link coming soon. So we're gonna put both of those into the timeline. And now we have two clips that go side by side with each other. What we wanna do is use the tree to wipe transparency across the frame. So everything on this side of the tree will essentially be transparent. And like I said, you can use anything. You can use a book, you can use a doorway. Anything that's gonna cover the frame completely will help you achieve this effect. So what we'll do is we'll go into the timeline and we wanna shift this first clip up a track. And then we'll split the second clip so that we can bring this underneath so we're kind of merging these two clips together. And we really need that clip to start right about there, because as the tree moves across the frame, everything on this side of the tree is going to be revealing the next clip underneath it. First of all, let's go from our zoom level of fit, maybe 50, there we go. We need a little bit of extra room around the outside of the frame to be able to create our mask. To do that, we're gonna be masking the tree clip. So make sure that's selected, go into effect controls, and right here where it says opacity, we're gonna grab the pen tool. And what we'll do with the pen tool is we're gonna start creating some points. And we're just gonna go in here and create enough points to align to the side of this tree. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we wanna isolate this new part of our layer. So you can see the opposite of what we want to happen has happened once we close that shape. Now if you go over to the effects control panel and we're going to click inverted because we want to keep the area that we didn't select visible. So now you can see we have this underneath layer is starting to show through. Now we want to toggle on keyframing for this mask path. Now here's what we got to do. Now this part's a little bit tedious because you have to go through frame by frame and move the mask points as the clip progresses. So as the tree's moving across, every frame we have to go through and adjust each individual mask path point so that we can animate this mask across the scene. If you lose your handles, all you have to do is click right here where it says mask, and there we go. We've got all our points there. We're just going to advance forward one frame. So you might have to hit command or control and forward one frame or just arrow key right. Now, it's moved forward, so we're just gonna take this, this nodule right here, move it. We're gonna move this guy and this one and the bottom one. Okay, perfect. Cool, so we've moved our mask one frame. Now let's hit this button right here, go one frame forward, and we're gonna move the mask path again. And we're gonna keep doing this for every single frame, and I won't make you watch me do that every single frame, so we'll fast forward through this part. <laughs> has completely wiped across the frame and we've revealed the underneath layer. But since I didn't start at the very beginning, we now need to move from that first keyframe backwards so the tree is not even in the frame yet, so we have to animate the mass backwards. <laughs> So at this point, we've gone backwards to the point where the tree is entering the frame, and then the very next frame where the mask starts to animate is when it starts to move. Since we've keyframed every position for this mask, every single frame from the point the tree starts to reveal the underneath layer to the point the tree is all the way across the screen. And once you've done that, this is the end result. 
Now, you might notice that there's a little bit of anomalies throughout. Your mask might not be exactly perfect. On the edge of the tree line, you're seeing a little bit of what is on the actual layer. And if you need to refine your mask a little bit, you can do it like this. Go to a point where things start to look a little weird. We can change the feather of this mask, which will essentially make it more or less blurry. We don't want it to be razor sharp, so let's put it somewhere around uh, 25. And then we can expand that mask. So let's expand it a little bit so that it moves towards the tree. The greater the value, the more the mask is gonna move in an outward direction. We feathered it and we're masking it a little bit. Let's see how that turns out. Now that is a lot better. You can spend as much time as you want on this and the more time you spend on adjusting and refining and making them fit perfectly to whatever it is that's covering the frame, the better your mask is gonna look and the better your end result will be. So yeah. That's pretty much animating masks. Honestly, it's a subtle effect and it's gonna take someone that's really paying attention to notice it, but those people who do notice it are gonna appreciate the time that you spent putting this together. It's a super cool effect and I hope you guys like it. And that, my friends, concludes part one of our Premiere Pro CC tutorial series. I hope by now, if you've gone through every single video in this playlist, you've learned enough that you can confidently go out and film something with any camera, import your footage, and create a really compelling story. I really appreciate all your support guys. Thank you so much for checking out the series. Thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't with notifications on, and I'll see you on the next one.